Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And my friend Janet loves salmon. She really enjoyed the flavor of salmon. But on top of that, she also recognized the nutritional value of salmon. As she cooks salmon at least uh, twice or even three times a week, uh, and she never get bored uh, with her salmon. Uh, so one day I ask her, uh, "How did you cook your salmon that uh, you can keep it interesting all the time?" Uh, she told me that her salmon uh, is different each time when she cook uh, because she add different uh, vegetables that to go with the salmon. Uh, when she described her method to me. I immediately recognize the significance of this approach. Her approach, in fact, is template-based cooking uh, because she used the same basic template uh, to cook the salmon, and she make variations. Uh, with this approach, uh, she can create infinite variations uh, to her salmon dishes, all based on what she feel like to have on that particular day, as well as what might be available to her at the time. Uh, in this video, I'm going to cook a salmon dish uh, based on Janet's approach. Uh, this dish also provides a demonstration of the basic principle of template-based cooking. Uh, Janet used the same wok that I have. Uh, it is a Cucina 14-inch stainless steel wok. Uh, Janet really liked this wok uh, because the flat surface area of this wok is about nine inches across. Uh, which is the size of a small frying pan. So consequently, uh, Janet can use the wok as a frying pan when she has to, and which is the case in making this salmon dish. Uh, I like this wok for the same reason, uh, because I can use the same wok uh, in stir frying a large portion of fried rice, and also uh, to make grilled cheese sandwich. Uh, the wok provides unparalleled flexibility in different type of cooking tasks. It is the flexibility and simplicity make the wok such a useful cooking utensil, and every kitchen should have one. Uh, the salmon I use in this dish uh, is purchased from Audi. Uh, they are Atlantic salmon, and they came in portions. Uh, usually, it's about one pound by weight, uh, which is just enough uh, for two separate meals. Uh, they have never been frozen, and the quality is as good as I could get anywhere else. I generally cook them in two separate meals, eight ounces for each meal for two of us. I found some portobello mushroom in my advanced prepping, and they are all ready to go. Uh, to garnish the dish, I'm going to use some scallion. Uh, I always have some scallion in my advanced prepping. They're extremely versatile uh, for using in many different types of dishes. And if you don't have scallion in your advanced prepping, I strongly recommend you to include it. Uh, I'm going to cook this dish in my Cucina 14-inch stainless steel wok. And after I heat up the wok, I'm going to add two tablespoons of canola oil. I'm going to use my spot seasoning method uh, to create a non-stick cooked surface. And if you are not familiar with this uh, seasoning method, uh, you can take a look at this video. Uh, this method is simple and effective uh, in seasoning your wok. And it takes only about 15 seconds, and it guarantees your wok will have a nice non-stick cooked surface. Uh, basically, I heat up the wok until the oil starts to smoke gently. Uh, I then turn the heat setting of the stove to low. And then I let the oil to smoke for another 15 seconds, make sure very gently, and I'm ready to cook. I use a pair of tongs uh, to place the salmon into the wok, uh, with the skin side of the salmon first on the surface of the wok. I do not remove the skin from the salmon. Uh, the skin provides great flavor after it is being fried. The crispy texture of the skin also offer great flavor. So in here, I'm using the wok as a frying pan. And this way, I can reduce the number of cooking utensils that I have. And this simplifies my kitchen and keep it more organized. And next, I'm going to season the salmon very lightly with half teaspoon of uh, mushroom seasoning. 
and followed by half teaspoon of uh, granulated garlic powder. And my goal of this seasoning strategy uh, is to enhance the natural flavor of the salmon rather than overwhelm it. Uh, this also depends on the type of salmon that I cook. Uh, in some salmons, I will use no seasoning at all. Uh, when it comes to salmon with a strong flavor, such as the sockeye salmon, uh, I will use no seasoning. Uh, the Cucina 14-inch stainless steel wok, as well as other woks with a large uh, bottom flat surface area, uh, frequently are known as wok pans. Uh, in addition for them to use as a a stir-frying wok, uh, they are also excellent for use as a frying pan. And because of their bowl shape, uh, it will reduce the splattering during cooking onto the surface of the stove, and it makes cleaning much easier afterward. I pan fry the salmon on one side uh, for about 3 minutes, and during this period, uh, I try not to disturb the salmon at all. Because if I do, uh, I will find the salmon will stick to the bottom of the wok. Uh, in order for the salmon not to stick to the wok, it is important uh, for the surface molecule to be sealed by the heat. Uh, once the surface of the salmon has been sealed, uh, you will find that it does not stick to the surface of the wok, and you can flip it over easily. Uh, by now, the salmon is about 50% done. And this is probably one of the best ways to cook salmon. Uh, it will keep the skin nice and crisp. Uh, they add a great deal of flavor uh, to the salmon. So in Janet's approach in cooking salmon is that now she will add other ingredients uh, to the wok. And here I follow her approach by adding thinly sliced portobello mushroom to the wok. And the amount of time to cook the mushroom will be just about right uh, for the salmon to be finished cooking. Here, I'm going to add uh, 2 cups of portobello mushroom. The portobello mushroom will pick up the flavor from the salmon. And of course, it will also add flavor to the salmon as well. Here, I use a pair of tongs to distribute the portobello mushroom over the surface of the wok without uh, disturbing the salmon. And then I use the tong uh, to gently stir fry the portobello mushroom uh, in such a way so that they will soak up the oil uh, in the wok. Uh, I told Janet that this is a very uh, clever uh, strategy uh, to cook another ingredient uh, while you are finished cooking the salmon. Uh, instead of mushroom, I could see that one easily could substitute it with asparagus, zucchini, yellow squash, onions, or just a mixture of different vegetable ingredients. Uh, by now, the mushroom is well cooked and the salmon is done as well. Uh, I flip it over and it looks really good. Uh, both the mushroom and the salmon look just perfectly cooked. And the clear advantage of this cooking method is that you can cook multiple ingredients in the same wok. It is not only a time-saving approach, uh, also it allows flavors of from the ingredients to intermingle with each other. And the final step is that I'm going to garnish the dish with some scallions. Uh, the reason I always have scallions in my advanced prepping because by adding the scallion, you not only add flavor, texture, but you also add color to the dish. And scallion is so flexible, uh, you can add it to almost any type of dishes. Uh, the total cook time of this dish is about 10 minutes. And because of advanced prepping, I already have the mushroom and scallion are ready to go right in the refrigerator. And with my other vegetable ingredients in my advanced prepping, uh, I can experiment them with different combinations as well as different ratios uh, in the future. Uh, so this is a demonstration of template-based cooking uh, that you can select ingredients based on your preference as well as availability. And because of using this approach, it is possible for Janet to create many different salmon dishes by using a basic template in making modifications and 
adjustments accordingly. I post a video every day to demonstrate my fast cooking system uh, so that uh, you can cook every day uh, to improve every aspect of your wellness as well as to enjoy the food that you love. And if you'd like to learn more about my cooking system, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So keep on cooking and I will see you tomorrow.